Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me, Solomon, here, and uh, we're still out in Tennessee, but right now we're in a whole different part of Tennessee, and I am uh, meeting a fella about an enclosed trailer that we got right over here, and uh, basically, we need to start putting all the parts that are inside the warehouse somewhere, so we got ourselves a new trailer. So we're gonna, hopefully this will be the deal, and uh, I'll update you guys soon. guys we just made it back we had like an hour and a half drive over here and uh we got the trailer she's looking good and now it's going to be time for us to start moving all this stuff around um because we actually uh we thought we were going to move everything off the property but the seller agreed to let me uh rent out the back concrete pad so now we're going to start organizing everything and uh it should look good we got to start taking all the parts and everything's got to go in here uh so stay tuned for an action-packed day all right Time to move some stuff. First crank. Continuing on to move some stuff, getting the sandbox pulled out for the day. All right, guys. So uh, this F26, we're gonna try to fire up and drive out of here, and uh, should be fun. So, got a fresh battery. We're gonna play with it and uh, I will update you guys when we pull her out. All right, so we just put some. Bang. Literally, we put a fresh battery, put some fuel in the carburetor. Boom. I told you guys, everything is parked and driving as it was parked, so. So that one did not sell yet. What we're gonna do is actually get this all cleaned up and uh, basically make it pristine so that way someone can have a really good like running driving project truck. Um, so in the next coming weeks or months, you'll see that one pop up for sale. Fresh battery. Yeah. Trying to tell you guys, all these trucks run and drive. That is cool. It's a neat little Ranger. I like it a lot. All right, everybody. So right now I want to walk around because I'm getting a lot of people just asking me like, hey, can you show me these trucks and not just do it in one second and like give me like more time? So I'm gonna walk around and I'm going to try to talk about the trucks. I don't know everything about all of them, um, but I'll at least tell you at face value what I think they are. So uh, we could start over here. We've got a 79 or eight F-150 Ranger Super Cab. This thing is in pretty nice condition. It has a pretty cool bed on it. If you guys are worrying, that's Patrick. And uh, Patrick runs Graham Automotive. And he's gonna be heading up selling all the parts that we have here. So if you need parts, head over to Graham Automotive on Instagram, get in touch with him. He will be happy to answer your messages that I haven't been able to yet. And uh, so yeah, here's this super cab. 
I am not sure the game plan with it. Um, and then a fella came over here and this is his den side. It's beautiful. There's a nice little ranger. Uh, the motor is not good on it. I don't know much else about it. it doesn't have any major rust. Okay. It is four wheel drive, automatic. And uh, looks like it would clean up pretty good. And uh, here's a 1979 F-150 4x4 short bed. And uh, it's a pretty cool truck. Doesn't seem to have any crazy rust either. Just a bunch of different shades of color. Here is a super cab with a uh, highly optioned um, race bed. It's for lightweight savings. And uh, the cab itself is actually in pretty good condition, but the bed is toast. And it's a what? Fuel injection. It is. That has a 351 Windsor fuel injected out of a Fox body in it. Here is a chassis two wheel drive for a crew cab. Here is a four wheel drive crew cab. This is the F26. This one's a 79 Ranger XLT. And here we are. It's a pretty cool truck. Uh, fairly complete. Have all the door panels. And it used to be for some reason a long bed, but it's been made back into a short bed. It's at the correct length and everything. Um, so this one is gonna be up on the block to get worked on. Here is the, I believe this is a 76 F-150 Custom. This one's a sandbox, and I call this one the uh, lighthouse sandbox. So it's got a really cool lighthouse on it. This one's pretty rough, like rust-wise, and uh, it doesn't have a lot of the really crazy cool features like the other sandboxes do. Someone took all that cool stuff out, but still has the headliner. I think that's pretty rad. And uh, this one's gonna get buffed out, look pretty cool, but it's rusty. But I really don't care because that doesn't affect anything except for the level of coolness. And then over here is a 73 to 5 Explorer. This is a long bed. It's a neat truck. I don't know what color this is called, but I don't see it often. It's like a light orange. Patchy, you know what this is? Definitely a light orange. Yeah. It's like a peach. Stripe. Original stripes. It's pretty cool. I would love to make this one like a 4x4. We've got a bunch of 4x4 trucks here. You know, same things, but the trucks aren't that nice. Here is a 72 uh, long bed. Here is a 69 long bed. Here's a, another super cab. It looks like a 79. It is a four wheel drive truck. It's got the coolest, you know, front bumper guard. And then we've got a Bullnose Explorer, which I haven't even been able to really look at because it's kind of jammed in there. And then here is the Midas truck. This is actually the truck that I came here for. Originally, when I thought I was coming here, it was just to buy one truck, and I was really gonna try to buy this truck. So, at least I ended up with it. That's pretty cool. I don't know the exact plans for it, but uh, I'm gonna bring it back to her for more glory. Over here, we've got a 1971 Ranger XLT, and uh, it's a pretty cool truck. Boom. It's got a motor. <laughs> big block obviously. and uh that's Corey. Hi. Corey usually takes the videos but now he's going to take some photos instead and then over here is a this is an f26 chassis and they put an f150 body because the body that was on it was roached here are some seats and different parts and stuff that we just moved out of the warehouse some, you know Transmission for cores. Here's another sandbox. This one I'm calling the Dove because it's got doves on the door. And we already closed up inside. You guys have pretty much seen what's inside. Here is a 1969 Ranger. It's got a 302. It's a short bed. It's not super nice, but it's not rough. It's just like not perfect you know this is the kind of truck that you could tell like it's probably had a bunch of owners you know like some of them might have been under 20 years old for sure high Here's, school drove, drove it to high school yeah and had a great time doing oh, burnouts yeah. in the parking lot yeah this crew cab i really like it's a 74 um it's a light uh 
I think it was the jade. Light jade green does not have the matching bed, unfortunately, but it's a pretty good truck. Here is a 72. This one, I believe, is also a Ranger. Pretty cool truck. Here is another 72. This one is an F100. It's a long bed, but uh, the colors are great. I mean, that's the patina everybody wants. We got another Super Cab, and that one is a 4x4, but it's an F150 Ranger. And uh, here we've got an F350 Ranger XLT. Here we've got my Chromatic. I've always wanted a Chromatic something, and I never thought the first Chromatic truck that I owned would be this rough. But I don't really care because it's super cool. Don't know what the game plan with this thing is. Um, but it's here. So we'll do something with it. We own a few trucks behind here. But the gate's locked. But that slick over there is ours. All these cabs. And uh, if you're curious what a cab costs, between $250 and $750. And we're in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. These I will sell right away. A lot of the other trucks I'm not interested in selling right away. Uh, we'll walk the back row and then we'll so you guys can kind of see. Some of these are going to be cheaper, like this one. You know, it was used for some good parts. But a lot of these are really savable cabs and usable. There's a couple of super cabs. A lot of them are AC cabs. That's true. A lot of them are AC cabs. And, uh, We've got a 1969 F250 bump side crew cab. It's seen better days as far as body damage, but it's actually fairly rust free. The doors open and close like they're not completely dented on the outside. And on the inside, you don't even know that they're messed up. Pretty cool. This one, I really want to get back on the road running and driving and uh, drive it. I think it, it'll be so funny driving this thing down the road. Like with a super clean job, this would look amazing. And uh, I just like it. This little F100 is cool. 302 truck. It's a 302? It's a 302 automatic. Nice. It's just a nice little dent side. Um, we got this super cab that's pretty much only thing good on it is the tailgate for a bench. Got bashed in on this side, it's rusty everywhere else. Probably has a good title, and the wheels to some people might be cool, so it might be worth that. We got this awesome Galaxy, and I was thinking that if I found like a former NASCAR, we take you know the chassis and we just slide it right up, this right on top, and then this could become a NASCAR and it'll just be for fun, silly reasons. We got some random parts. There's a 61 four-wheel drive. This one's an F250. Yeah, uh, I walk by these types. If it's two-wheel drive frame, I kind of don't pay too much attention, but it is a nice... Exhaustive. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a nice little short bed. And it's got the I-beam still on it. Just needs wheels, really. Here is a 1960 F100. Here is a 58. This one's probably gonna become Patrick's crew cab because he keeps saying he wants one. And um, he loves convertibles. He's got a white Buick convertible he got out of here. So it'll match his other convertible, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we know you like white. You keep wearing white shirts to, like to white. work. Yeah, they don't end up going home white though, but it's part of the fun. Here is another 79. Actually, this one might be a 78. It's a nice truck. It is a nice truck. Like the body, is in good condition it's just a cool truck you could tell it was painted at one point because it's got clear coat on it but you know won't hold it against it we got another bullnose over here no motor no transmission just a clean little short bed it's a ranger f100 you don't see a lot of bullnose f100s really mm -hmm. most of them are you know 150s uh -huh. here is another this one's a 77 i believe cool, we got us another chassis yeah, we'll yeah, hit we got a super cab for probably pretty much for parts this one's gonna be the donor truck for this one so the game plan is to take the body of this one which is in 
really nice shape. It's original paint, you know, two-tone, everything matches. Fairly rust-free truck. And then we uh, take this and we put it together. And for anybody who's a purist, I'm sorry that we might hurt your feelings, but it is what it is. It hurts, you know, this one's pretty cool. It's a Ranger XLT, factory AC. I mean, the truck's in really nice condition. I like it a lot. And uh, this one's really not in great condition. I mean, it's rusty pretty much everywhere. And uh, this one will be cool. I'm excited to kind of start jumbling and fumbling them all together. Here we've got a, uh, I believe it's a four-wheel drive front clip and that's why he cut it off. Don't know what I'd do with this except for uh, pretty much sell it. Here is a really nice, I think this actually might be one of the nicest crew cabs as far as like being solid and one color. So this one is a 79 F350 Ranger XLT and uh, it's got a tiny bit of rust but nothing crazy like the bottom of the B pillar on this side but it's locked yeah it's locked so it's nice like the truck itself is actually in good condition all the paint matches there's not like tons of rust it sucks but you know it is what it is i like this thing not a very bad drip though at all a little no the, drip, the, the, the cab is great i've got long beds like long bed beds we have plenty of it just it's annoying i think some people might kind of try to pull that back out and rock it, but... Put a side on it, probably. Yeah, good thing AMD makes them. I don't even know what this is. Looks like a... It's a train on it. Is it? I think so. Here we got another parts truck. You can see some trucks have been moving. In yesterday's video, we had that, like, bump side super cab right here. And then here is a Ranger XLT crew cab cab. And uh, it's actually in decent condition it's got rust like they all do but it's why factory fab makes the replacement parts you can see it's got the door panels still in it i mean it used to be an ac truck so someone took the dash out but you can always put another one back in it cap corner school pans make a nice truck yeah some you know some assembly required and then uh let's see you got a bed that's pretty much toast got another crew cab frame two-wheel drive from a dense side i believe this was the frame for that truck we've got a 66 four-wheel drive f100 that thing is pretty rad we got us a Corey decker live hi How you, you might know me from shows uh like nope Got nothing. Ford Eric. Ford Eric. Yesterday's video. Yeah. I day was, before. I was. Uh, did I actually make a appearance in? Cameo. You might no? have. I don't know. You were in it, like filming it. I was. I did. I was behind the on the other side of this camera. Yeah. So that, he was like where I am right now. Mm -hmm. But apparently, you know, he didn't cut it, so I'm yep. back behind it. Apparently, I suck. I didn't say it. It's got a motor. Probably runs and drives. For some reason, people don't believe that everything here runs and drives, but then every time we put a battery and gas in it, it starts right up. So this thing is it's actually... It's not a Chevrolet. Huh? It's not a Chevrolet. Wait, what'd you say? I didn't... It's not a Chevrolet. That's why it starts back up? Yeah, it's because it's forward. Yeah. Duh. Duh. If you guys are watching this video and you got offended because we make fun of Chevys, I'm sorry. You don't know me yet? <laughs> <laughs> that is Mr. Justin Jenkins. You can blow up his Instagram. Oh, what is it? Yeah. Jenkins underscore 423. Yeah. You know it better than I do. Yeah. But this one's really cool. I want to make this into a 4x4. Four four. I love that it's got tinted windows. Because that is like, to me, that's one of the cooler things. I think, uh, and that's it. It's an F350. I don't see a lot of F350 4x4s. Four four Here's another dense side cab that for some reason was turned into a parts truck. But it's a good truck, so another factory fab roof is going to be needed with drip rails and uh, we got the door. I don't know why they took it off, but it's inside of it. And we've got a few more trucks. Here is two F350 uh, Customs, both are 4x4s. There is a dense side man if I've ever seen one. 
Here is a two-wheel drive F250, 79. It's actually really nice. Like this is a really nice truck. Patina is fantastic. And uh, a lot of people actually have a good use for a flatbed. Here is a 79 F-150 Ranger Lariat. And uh, it says Thunderstruck. I don't know if that was like a package or something, but it's a cool super cab. It's pretty good shape. It is in good shape. It's not in great shape, it's in good shape. Um, we've got another parts truck. Someone apparently needed that little piece of the bed. So they got it. This is also a nice cab, like a really nice cab. Cab corners are in, I think, great condition. Um, it sucks because this color was so cool, the two-tone brown. AC cab. AC cab. Door shut great. Yep. It's a Ranger XLT, so it's got the nice door panels. Great and, drip rails. Yep. This is a this is exactly what like a starter is for most people. You know, like you get this, you get in it for cheap, it runs and drives, and you enjoy it. And that's what you should do. We've got another 79. If you guys are curious, yes, he does love 79s. This one is an F-150 Ranger. It is also a four-wheel drive. And uh, it's just a cool, cool truck. It's not very rusty. It just needs some loving. And then here is a service body. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive F-250. And uh, it's a really cool truck too. I love that it's the original paint and the service body is also the original paint. It looks like somebody was uh, something hit right here. Then it hit the cowl, and then it went through the windshield. Don't know if that's what took it out of service, but that's what we could see on it. Definitely has a cool story. Yeah, we just don't know it. That's true. And then another, this one's a 76, I believe. Camper special. It's a super camper special. Super camper special. You that's see, it's got the extra long, weirdish bed. That's because of the spare tire. Yes. Well, not only because of the spare tire, but also because you wanted to haul more luggage, I guess, when you were doing, or your, you wanted your fifth wheel, like, I just love how wacky these look because I don't know I just love it and there's two of them so there's one and then here we've got another one this one's a 73 or 4 this is also a 250 super camper special or no this is a 350 sorry and it's a Ranger XLT and it's got all the trim on it and you could see the spare tire peeking through right there I just think it's so cool that they actually offered it like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Definitely a unique truck. You don't see them that often. No. There's two side by side. That's a pretty rarity in itself. And we got just the bed sitting on the ground there for like another one. I never see that many in the same place. This one here is going to get a body swap. Um, there is another single cab short bed. We walked past or long bed over there. We're going to just do it. It's the exact same colors. So this one's going to get a body swap with another one that's the same colors. And it runs and drives great. Here is a short bed 79 F100 Explorer. This thing is really, really nice. It doesn't have a motor in it, um, but I really like this truck. It's in fantastic condition. There are not a lot of good short beds here. And there's just not a lot of good short beds in general, especially when they all match color. So that's why I kind of like this one. And it's an AC cab. It is an AC cab. That makes a big, big difference. Here is a 79 F250 factory 4x4. Um, might have been a scrap truck. I'm not sure. It's got a lot of scrap in the back. And uh, it's pretty much hammered in the body aspect of things. And it's not crazy rusty. It's just a really used truck. But it runs and drives flawlessly. Like this thing would literally drive cross country, but nobody would believe it. And I don't know. I kind of like that kind of stuff. Here is a 76. This one is a custom. I believe it's an F100. It's just a cool truck. It's a little bit too rusty for uh, for my likings now. Here's an F100 Ranger XLT. I believe this one's a 76. Very clean truck. Extremely clean truck. And it's an interesting two-tone. We haven't buffed it, but like without buffing it, it's like a pinkish. And then, let's see if we can get a little color. Yeah, so it's like a maroon pinkish something i don't know and then we got like a darker red so this this thing is a really cool truck um we got another chassis and then i always forget to talk about this one but this is a really cool f600 dump truck 
it's a 66 and uh i just like the way it looks like it just looks like a stubby badass i kind of i kind of like the way it looks with the dump bed on it like this is just a cool look like whoever ordered that and drove it around he had a great time i probably should have put this inside tonight but here is a dana 60 disc brake front end that is the f28 crew cab chassis that that goes with here is another front end that has locking hubs factory factory and it still has the ram assist from factory these were both supposed to go back inside tonight hopefully no one takes it it's a dodge we don't we don't like dodges we like cummins but it's not dodge here's a 79 it's an f100 custom it's also a really nice truck straight just a cool truck. It's been repainted because it's got clear coat on it. Two wheel. Here's an LTD with a 429. And uh, from what I'm told, this thing was parked after winning too many burnout competitions and they wouldn't let it go back to any burnout competitions. So I'm thinking burnout car. Here is a beautiful 79 F-150 Ranger XLT. It's just a really clean original long bed. It's nothing fancy. Oh, it's four. All right, and then we got a couple dent crews here. So this is a two wheel drive. I believe it's a 77. And then here is a four wheel drive. And you guys until now weren't really able to see it because there used to be some trucks right here. But now I can actually show it to you. I love this thing. It is so wacky. It has a like a rhino line textured um, paint job. It is from South Texas. And this thing was meant for hunting. It was a hunting rig. 390 big block truck. It is a 390 big block truck. It's got a super cool set up on the bed and I think it's gonna live on as a hunting truck I'm gonna get it back to running and driving and we're gonna take it hunting it used to be bright 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 green and uh, it's actually a really nice condition truck AC from factory automatic tilt column I think Just cool truck here is another f26 this is a 79 it's a little bit rusty, but the patina is really cool. So what I think is probably I'm gonna put flares on it and then just buff it out and someone will have a really nice, you know, factory four x four Ranger, but it'll be affordable. Here's a little cute short bed. I think this one's a 71 and uh, it's got great patina. It's just really cool. There is another super camper special bed. This one's in great, great, great shape. We got us a Galaxy with some incredible patina. Very little rust. No motor. Know. No motor. No motor. It has a transmission. It does. Here is the F28 cab, one of 58. This thing is super cool. Uh, probably the truck that I'm most excited about getting back together. Uh, it used to be this really nice green. So that would be cool to bring it back to that one day maybe and uh that is a walk around of everything here don't know how long this was hope you guys enjoyed that part of it and uh i think we should probably just end today's video off right over here so as always if you guys can smash that like button it really helps us out if you have any questions uh drop us a comment below let me know what truck you like best uh people are still emailing me um i've decided to not sell everything right now um what we're gonna do is over the next couple months over the summer we're gonna get majority of these trucks uh running driving buffed cleaned up you know wheels and tires to match and just make them that they're good projects for other people like i don't want to finish them i just want to make it to where it's like 75 percent and that way someone who doesn't have a ton of mechanical abilities can actually finish it themselves in their home garage or something like that um, and that's the game plan. But if there's a truck here that really piques your interest, um, just stay tuned. Like, it'll probably be for sale. The really cool sandbox trucks, Midas truck, Snickers, those are mine to keep, probably. I just really like it. I'm not gonna probably find too many of them again, so I don't wanna let them go unless it makes sense financially. And uh, that's pretty much that. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get some cool shirts, like this one, if you want to get some hats, like that one, all other kinds of stuff, head over to FordAero.com. And if you want parts, start messaging Graham Automotive on Instagram. 
Patrick is going to have so many parts available that uh, you guys all better hit him up. So people keep hitting me up for parts. I don't know, he does. We'll see you in the next video.